Welcome to the studio of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event here in Geneva. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by the Swiss Ambassador Thomas Schneider, who's Chair of WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event. And uh, you are here today in representation of the Honourable Minister and Head of the Delegation to WSIS Plus 20, Albert Rushdie. Welcome. Welcome. Tell me, how important a role is the WSIS Forum in terms of what is happening here? The WSIS Forum, just like uh, other dialogue fora like the IGF, these are the two main ones created by WSIS, for us are important catalysts for interdisciplinary cooperation, for identifying challenges, identifying opportunities, and bring the right people together from all stakeholders from all over the world in order to seize the opportunities and minimize risks in everything that is linked to internet and digital governance. And since we're here in Geneva, I think there's a unique spirit to Geneva with this tradition of cooperation across disciplines, that, across institutions, across stakeholders um, that are living closely together, uh, 100 meters apart from each other. And this tradition, I think, is, is a reason why this catalyst function works here at the WISIS Forum. And it's Switzerland's turn this year. Tell me about that. Yeah, this is a rotation system like in many areas in the UN and we are very happy to play this role uh, as the host and, and, and the chair this time. What does it mean to Switzerland to do this? We take it as a sign of trust that they give something like this in, in our hands and in return, of course, we try to do our best. We are a country that is uh, yeah, trying to be pragmatic, trying to find solutions where solutions are possible and do everything to facilitate progress wherever people agree what progress is. What are the challenges then in Switzerland in particular around um, you know, digital innovation? Well, the challenge is, like everywhere, is to take people along to make sure that opportunities are seen at the same time that um, fears, concerns are heard, that solutions are found that take into account of those that may actually have reasons to be afraid and that we uh, find solutions that if even if we know that for the whole society or economy there's a benefit that this benefit is fairly shared and those that may have problems with the disruptive uh, aspects of a transformation that they are brought along that nobody is left behind neither on national level nor on global level. So a year ahead to play with what are your hopes and fears if any? I hope that we can contribute to uh, this important period of, of review of the WISIS that happened 20 years ago and this will last until next year. There's a number of, of processes, of documents, of decisions to be made to see how we are shaping the global digital governance um, until the end of next year where the big decisions are made in the UN. And so we hope to provide for some evidence, for some insights that hopefully end up like 20 years ago, with a shared vision on how to move all of this forward. Okay, Thomas Schneider, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I enjoyed our conversation. And if you enjoyed the conversation and would like to hear more, there's more on the same channel from the WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event.